Okay, so I've done the first uh, layer and I'm going to show you another layer. So this is going to be my second layer on my glazing. I'm going to pick up the same sort of colors. Um, my reds, my opera pink, my alizarin crimson and just start working it in. It doesn't matter if you go over with a different color but what happens is this glazing technique gives it depth. You can already tell just in that claw how much deeper your color gets. It's just an infusion of layers and color and it just ends up beautiful. You can see that. I'll go over that with a little bit of New Cambodge. Look at that. I'm going to work really fast here. Um, doesn't matter if you pick up water. And um, I've got some gold on the palette here. It's picking that up. It's kind of pretty. So I'm just working fairly fast. I mean fast enough that you can stay in the lines of your silhouette. doesn't matter if you go out just a smidge. It still looks pretty. So this is layer two. I'm probably going to do three or four layers. I, I love the look that I get with this glazing. Um, you can do this with any silhouette or think of it as um, giving it any painting that you do depth. When I make my flowers, when I paint flowers I like to use a loose, looser stroke but go back in and glaze on top of some of the petals. You can use a bigger brush. Um, I'm using my number four round. You want a nice springy brush. Um, I'm going to add in some water over here. It's a little bit washier. Add in some new gamboge there. If you get it too thick, don't worry, just take a little bit off. And the way that I take it off is I dip my paintbrush in water, wipe it on my sponge, my kitchen sponge, and then um, just lift off a little bit can see how that little edge right there, I might not like that, so I just take a little water, wash over it. Okay, and the final leg. I guess they're called legs on a crab. I'll try to marry this video to the first one so you can see how I did the first uh, layer. So there's layer two. And let me pause the video. Okay, so I've dried that. I'm going to go back in with one more layer, I think. So this time I'm going to use a little more gold because I really like the look of that, how that's coming out. So I've picked up some of my interference gold and my opera pink and I'm just going to apply that in the same areas and see if I get a really nice glazing effect. 
I don't know if you can tell that, but it's very iridescent um, as I'm putting it on. I'm going to mix it with not every color. There's some alizarin. A little water. A little new Cambodge. And again, you don't want to overwork the areas because you can pull up paint from the previous session. But you want to be able to lay down the paint nice and heavy, washy, just like the layer that you did before. There's just some water, a little bit of gold. Ooh, I love that gold. Okay. And this layer just is washing very fast over the top because I'm not having to be so careful on the lines. I'm not hitting every single area that I did before. Um, there's This is like a mix of the alizarin and the opera and the gold. Picking up a little more alizarin to do that leg. you get areas like that, I'll show you what to do. Just put a little water and let it wash around. Add in some color. Don't be afraid if it gets um, globby. It's kind of cool looking. Put gold in there. some of the opera and the gold over that um, new gamboge area. There's some water because I don't want to have a hard edge. Um, I'll show you how the same effect looks on some other silhouettes here before I end the recording. And there you go. So that is a uh, number Glazing number three layer, and I'll show you how to finish that in just a second. So here is glazing uh, that we did on a, this is how we did it in class. We glazed using some, some purple, some teal, some indigo, and then I did gold over the top there. You can kind of tell the little luminescence of it as I turn that. Um, so this was layered five times for this constellation and then this was another one that we did in class and it, you can see the gold speckles on there and again this was only opera pink and new gamboge and it made all of these gorgeous oranges and then I splattered with the opera pink, went back in with the gold, and then with some um, of the gouache white. So let's go back to the crab. And it's not quite dry, but I'm going to go ahead and splatter it. And you want to take your um, large br round brush, your number eight. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some opera pink and a little bit of alizarin so it's a nice healthy red there get it mixed about half water half paint and then just tap it with your other brush you can make them bigger smaller whatever you want it's going to get all over my keyboard And then I'll go back in and I'll do the red, um, uh, the white, and the gold. So in 
enjoy your glazing today and thanks for joining me. Before I sign off I just want to show you the final piece. I put a little salt on there and it's got the gold coming through. I thought it looked really nice.